today about 15% of all plastics is being recycled. That means 85% of plastics is not recycled and that's a big problem. Yeah, we need to do something about it and make that more circular. The change that we need to do to transform the linear plastics traditional economy into a circular economy global is massive. 15% of plastics being recycled is typically recycled in a mechanical way. And so we want to expand the recycling content by putting advanced recycling as a complementary technology on the market and making sure that a larger part of the plastics is being recycled. We essentially boil the plastics, they break down into their constituent components. That is then used as a feedstock or as an input, raw material if you like, into the processes that Dow has in order to make new plastics and other products. With a growing population, we just need to make sure that we make better use of our resources and circle waste materials back into the loop. We're very excited uh, to have this partnership with Dow. Dow has a global footprint. Um, I think uh, it is uh, you know, the premier plastics manufacturer in the world. With our technology, we're looking to not supplant or replace mechanical recycling, but we're looking to start where mechanical recycling stops and that way you have much higher rates of recycling than you currently have. And I think that's the, the, the way forward. The deal with Mura is about developing 500 kiloton of recycling capability and that's a lot. Yeah, for us it's very important that we find a partner that can develop this uh, technology at scale. It's possible, it's needed, we need faster and further action, and we are committed to make that happen. The cooperation and collaboration with Mura Technologies, where here at the site in Berlin, we will install a 100 kT advanced recycling plant. So overall, we're working on all three emission categories, scope one, two, and three to overall achieve, as a company, a carbon neutrality goal by 2050. At Dow we're planning to electrify cracking because it's important that we also decarbonize our production processes so we can reduce, for example, emission in our production process by not using fossil uh, feedstocks, but for example using electricity, green electricity, to do the cracking process. So the plastics industry has realized very much that this linear model needs changing. So what that eventually means is that the feedstock that we can use in these chemical plants that you see behind me needs to be turning from a fossil-based feedstock into a feedstock that is circular, meaning that we take plastic at its end of life back into the process and we use the carbon that is present in these materials back into our materials in order to turn them into new products that have the same quality as the materials that the whole industry and value chain is used to. This is needed for changing, you know, for fighting climate change and this is needed to really go to a decarbonization plastics model right for the future. We are in Dow committed to make that happen and industry is committed to make that happen. So very optimistic but very complex, lots of work to be done and more partnerships like the one with Mura that will need to be deployed to make that happen.